All right, so I haven't seen anyone use a time delayed relay before, so I'll explain it real quick. <clears throat> but turn the key on. Uh, I got a wire going from the power side or the um, the on side, whatever. Uh, 48 volts, and we're gonna call it. Uh, I believe it's the blue one. So the blue one comes down. Scratch. I use two blues. Anyway, blue one comes down. It goes into the relay. And that is powering number 15. 15 is also jumpered to the top of the relay. Technically 15 doesn't power the relay. 15 provides power to 16 and 18 depending on which set the relay is on. However, I have a jumper from 15 going up to the top, which is A1 positive. That is the positive for the relay. I have A2 negative green wire going to the battery main negative terminal. That power, that provides the negative. The key provides the positive. The key also provides the jumper for the relay. So when you first turn the key on, 16 is energized. For five, I have it set for five seconds. So if you look at the this, I have it set for a, on the 10 second mark, with a 50% rating. So 10, 50% of that's five seconds. And you can adjust as high or low if you need. After that five seconds, the relay flips over and powers 18 and stops powering 16. So if we follow 16 around, which is initially brown, comes up to my resistor the resistor on the opposite end is jumped to the uh, motor capacitor side, what do we call it? The opposite side of the, gosh, relay contactor. Yeah, DC contactor. Which is funny, the DC contactor is 12 volts. Huh. Yeah, that makes sense, because there's a uh, the 12 volt in inverter converter. Anyway, um, here's a side view of the batteries I'm using. I'm using four of these Life Power 4s. Max charge, 14 to 14 and a half. 100 amp discharge. Alright, back to this. So the brown goes to the resistor. Resistor goes to the other side of the coil. That pre-charges the uh, capacitors, which keeps it from doing a short in the BMS. After the five seconds it off, it's, it's, after the five seconds, it switches to powering 18 and shuts off power to 16. So 18 is the yellow wire. It goes all the way back up to my key. And it plugs into the original key source. And this just dumped here. I taped it in tape to uh, give it some protection from rubbing and whatnot. And up here, you can see where my blue wire connects to the key. So you got the red, which is power to the key. Blue, in this case green, provides power to either the 12 volt system or the whatever to jump the relay. How it works, I, I didn't look at the wiring diagram. But generally that's how it is. Key, power to key, power to relay. Relay powers the resistor for five seconds. Relay switches off, switches over. Powers the opposite side of the key, just like the key would have done normally. So, key on. You gonna see some lights? And it does make a little bit of noise when you power down, just de-energizing. See if I can get that light shining. Green on, clicker for the timer. There you go, relay on. All right, continue on to the batteries. Uh, ignore the tape, I pop the top off to take a look at the BMS and whatnot. Everything here is basically set the way the factory is. Still have that, whatever that is.
Um, still room for the bolts to go in, which I'll add those back. On the top here, the center mount tie down still works. The cable retention still works. Uh, I did install a equalizer. All right, back here you can see the equalizer a little bit better, but it has wires that goes to each set of batteries. Um, just as I was putting the side back on, I did realize that it is just barely touching, but only by like a quarter of an inch. So the back still fits on. Oh, I'll tighten up these two bolts and I think I'll be done. All right, here's what I was talking about. See how this side's pretty much flush and this side is just a hair over. But it still fits with the screw. So the, uh, the relays. So if I was to do it different, I would move the relay on the top. That way it sits in this hump instead of being like right, right there basically. Went out to cut the neighbor's yard. Hasn't been cut for the season or the year, however you wanna look at it. It's actually pretty tall. Um, I have to go a little slower, but the blades do bog down a little bit. But a max I'm seeing for amperage is uh, 46 amps is what I saw. Yep, that's taller than the tire. <laughs>